You know, that, that was personally one of the most difficult transitions to lead because um, um, there was no way I could see that we could get it perfect at every step of the way. So, so yeah. the Bundes is kind of like performance art. You know, you're, you're building an opera, but every six months you have to do a performance. You know, the curtain yeah. will rise no matter what. And that, that really was one of the most difficult transitions. But, but I, I think the, the core ideas in the design have really shone through. And for all of the sledging that's gone on in the community, we're being more imitated than not, I think, in terms of, uh, you know, other folks' yeah. work. So I, I think imitation is flattery. Okay. So on top of 1304, you can get uh, GNOME, KDE, Unity, uh, uh, Right, so I just choose whatever I want. Exactly. So it's uh, user Galaxy, choice rules, and that's it. Exactly. And so from the point of view of you know, anybody who's a developer is smart enough to do it, and we make it as easy as we possibly can, and we facilitate the communities yeah. around those things to go. Uh, you know, the, 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 the drama associated with the decision which affects the folk who want us to take those decisions for them, you know, um, uh, there's a big disconnect there, right? There are definitely communities for whom it's not appropriate for sure. us to take decisions for them. Yeah. But we're not. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. they, they will always do, you know, pimp it out the way they want to pimp it out, right? <laughs> That's exactly like right. Don Knuth on down. Right? There you go. Uh, um, and then the only side thing with that, I know you had some interesting conversation about Wayland and this and that, and some KDE guys saying, oh, you support us, we don't you support you. Does that really distract you a little bit, or is it just kind of interesting trivialities that kind of take 10 minutes out of your day? Well, what's, what's genuinely difficult is that both you know, I and, and the, a bunch of people who sort of yeah. involved in that kind of choice um, uh, genuinely care about what other people think. You yeah. know what I mean? I think it's possible some, you know, in some scenarios you could say, look, we're just going to do our thing. We don't care what anybody else thinks. We go to a lot of trouble to accommodate other folks. And so almost the, the, the nastiest thing that folks can do is essentially set up that kind of tension. Uh, and, and some of those transitions are really, you know, very difficult. Um, uh, um, you know, you're sort of damned if you do, damned if you don't. In, in that particular case, we had some concerns about the approach that was, that was being taken and some of the motivations of how that was playing out, what was really driving the agenda there. Um, uh, but, you know, so what do you do? Do you, do you question it? In which case people say, well, you know, you, you, you you're not doing it, you know, if you're not doing any code, your opinion doesn't matter. Sure. Or do you prototype something different, in which case if you've prototyped it, then you're immediately accused of, of, of having <laughs> done work in a secret. But if you prototype yeah, it in yeah. public, then there's a whole different set of sledging. So what's difficult is that there are inevitably competitive dynamics and so on that give someone an incentive to be nasty about anything that you do. Yeah. Um, and uh, so we've kind of learned just to figure out quietly what we think is the the right way to do it. Good. In the case of, of Mir, we have done a great deal of work to make sure that it works, really works for everybody who wants to. Um, anybody who, who makes an issue of it probably is more interested in making an issue than in, in working the issue. You know? Mir is not part of 1304, or is it? No. Um, so Mir is on here, um, and at some stage, what, what we'll do is we'll slip Mir in underneath X and everything else. What Mir does is it gives us a, a kind of unified wrapper around OpenGL drivers from yeah. all sorts of different places. Um, the the architects of, of the alternative platform, you know, there'd been some very strategic hiring and steering and investment sure. that we, you know, was quite clearly going to make things difficult if you want to make a platform across all kinds of yeah. devices from all kinds of silicon. Right. So so Mir is a very neutral, clean way of doing that. Yeah. Very fast. Um, and the, the guys who drive OpenGL, for example, are super happy with the approach taken there. So what, is, what is the phone running? If it's not 1304, it's something off of so, one of your trunks? Yeah, so 1304 is on there. That's essentially running the, the, the full uh, desktop OS. Um, but instead of putting up the desktop, we put up the phone experience. But, you know, there's not a library on there which isn't also in the desktop, and it's the same version. It's not like an embedded version or so on. And when are the two versions going to align? Is that probably 14, 13? 1404. 1404. Yeah. And will that then align with phone, phone uh, TV? and desktop. Desktop. TV is a wild card. TV is a wild card. It may come in, may, may yeah. take a bit longer. But phone, tablet, and desktop, we intend to have one device, 1404. And pretty, pretty Ubuntu cool. for Android, which I know is a separate thing, and I know Jane's explained it to me more than once. Is that just on core uh, release cycles? Um, 
that is st still a slightly separate thing that will also become completely in lockstep. So Ubuntu for Android, the desktop on Ubuntu for Android, yeah. be exactly this. And it's Mirror that allows us to do that, in fact. And Kylin? Uh, Chilin is just a... Chilin. See, I, can't, I, don't, I don't do the pinion pr pronunciations. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's Chilin. 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 <laughs> yeah. um, it is a flavor, essentially. It's... Um, um, like a region, like the French community, for example, have a French edition, um, which goes more than just translating yeah. strings. It's essentially integrating um, uh, content and, and uh, uh, social networks and so on that are um, local. And so that's what Chilin is doing on the desktop.